Hello, YouTube! I am virtually naked with hearts behind me and pink lighting, and that means it's time for only one thing. Cutie loot! Um, it also means that because, you know, I did the deco crate video earlier today, and that's the way I do things in order, but we can pretend that, you know, there was a chance I was gonna do something interesting, which I wasn't. Well, I mean, cutie loot's interesting, so just ignore me. But don't ignore me, because I'm gonna open my cutie loot, and it's gonna be adorable. So, cutie loot is a monthly subscription box in Second Life. It is for the kawaii and magical girls of Second Life, of which I am one. It costs 1500 lindens prior to the 8th of the month and 3000 lindens thereafter. And I mention this because, well, normally I forget to buy into, into Luxbox every month. Even though I plan on getting it, I always forget that I haven't actually bought it. This month, Cutie Loot takes that honor and so I paid the full price of 3,000 lindens for it but it's gonna be worth it you pre-order your cutie loot on the marketplace and then at noon on the 8th it will be delivered to you and you will get this lovely HUD the lovely HUD tells you which brands we will be getting this round we will be getting things from Altair Breathe Doe Australia Pretty Caboodle Le Field Cat, Fawny, Unkindness, The Sugar Garden, Moss and Mink, and Fedora. I have clicked here to deliver all items at once, as is the convenient way of doing things, and I've unpacked them, so we will jump straight in and look at our pretty things. Zoom in some more on my face because the first item we have is the Sugar Garden Magic Eyes. The Sugar Garden Magic Eyes comes with an Omega Applier and also System Eyes and regular Mesh Eyes. Now, I it speaks here of Catwa Eyes, uh, which you can use the Omega Applier with. Uh, I don't have the Catwa Eyes, and I don't know if the Lelutka Eyes are Omega compatible, but I do not get on with the Lelutka Eyes as I mentioned in in my powder pack video they just don't quite fit my face correctly so i am going to be looking at a random selection of the mesh eyes so for a start aqua seems like my style so let's look at those the magic eyes by the sugar garden have a very a very clear look to them you know they're very clean very fresh very innocent looking I think they're very pretty they're not for me because I have very specific taste in eyes but they are lovely and they have windows reflected in them which is pretty zoomed out I look a little stunned <laughs> let's take a look at some of the other colors you know they've got an almost Android quality to them I think it's because of the way this because of the way this shine those here they look almost robotic which is really cool they're very anime inspired I think just with the simplicity of them. This is the Honey Grey. Next I'm gonna try the Aurora. Oh, look at this, the ice blue is beautiful. See, I'm doing this like two-tone eyes. That is cool. And this is the Aurora. Oh, these are really pretty eyes. They're very simplistic. I feel like they've got a certain style to them. But they are nice. I like them, and you get so many colors. You get amethyst, aqua, aurora, black, dark brown, deep blue, forest, green, hazel, honey, honey gray, ice blue, light brown, pink, red, and silver. And yeah, you can use them on Catwa eyes, which is brilliant, which is so convenient. So I think these are beautiful. They're not for me, but they are very, very, very pretty. The Sugar Garden Magic Eyes. From the face now down to the feet, head to toe. We've got Breathe Lynn Heels. For convenience, I am wearing the Matreo High feet, and so we will put those on right now. Pretty, pretty. The Breathe Lynn Heels are some strappy platforms. Strappy here and lace up here. Open toe with a stiletto heel and a platform thingy going on here. And then we have this wonderful mix and match hut. 
We have the three colors for the soul here. The gold, the red, and the black. Not to mention all the different colors we have for the laces and the sides of the shoe. Now I am going to do mine to coordinate my lingerie, which is aqua and yellow. My, but I'm fancy with my shoes matching my knickers. Yes. And then there are non eastery pastel -y colors too. I always just gravitate towards colors the Easter Bunny would approve of because I'm cute. That is the, that is the Breathe Lynn Heels. The next item of loot for my cuteness is the Altair Carino Bikini. The Carino Bikini is Matreya fitted only and comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. I have put on the banana one and it's adorable. Again, very kind of anime inspired. I can I could definitely see at least a video game character wearing this. Got these great big bows on the side and these frills. I like the frills. And just a simple tie at the front. It's very pretty and it is small. It's small, but it's not slutty, you know? It's kind of adorable, which is the point in all this, really. Let's look at some of the other colors. I'm going to look at the pink, heck, black. See, I really like the pink and black because I'd like to be able to get it in a yellow and black so I could be all, like, Hufflepuff Pride. Always about the Hufflepuff Pride, you guys. No coverage on the back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am curious to see what this snack teak is. Oh, it's, it's pink, you guys. It's pink. Ah, <sighs> hear the disappoint in my voice. But I love that there is banane and, and, you know, other colors too. I think this is adorable. It is very, very pretty. I wonder if... Hey, look, if I change my boobs, it fits better. This is with, obviously, a, a much larger chest and less gravity and a lot more separation. And look, the, the bow actually bows out which is cool and look you can see it's got this little little thing going on there yeah unfortunately i'm a flat chested girl and so that's not how this goes for me but it is still a really really cute bikini the alta carino bikini next we have the australia kawaii kitty top the kawaii kitty top comes in matreya fit only and is super cute i feel like again it would look a little less derp if my boobs were a different shape but they're not but it's so cute look at his little face i i i like that they didn't go for the obvious option of of eyes as nipples nipples as eyes eye nipple nipple eyes um it has a hide I forgot how much I really like Australia's HUD. Uh, okay, so the, uh, the HUD allows us to change the color of the top itself and of the lake. Oh, and if we match the D-pad, so to speak, we can change the cat's ears and whiskers. Aww, it's adorable. That's really, really cute. The Australia Koi Kitty Top. Next in our cutie loop, we have Caboodle with the Kyoko skirt, mask, and decora. So, I guess we will put on the Kyoko decora first. The Matreya size. This comes in sizes 4, Slink Hourglass Physique, and Matreya Lara. Okay, it's, it's as it sounds. It's decora, as in decoration, which I actually kind of knew. I'm not really super up on like Japanese fashion and stuff, but as far as I'm aware, decor is about like putting on a whole ton of like plastic jewelry and bows and just just really really going over the top with with jewelry. So yay! Uh, I am going to put on the skirt then, Ooh. and the mask. I'm gonna put on the decor one. Oh, it's one of these masks. Well, sort of uh, Asian medical mask thingies fun okay let's take a look at the hud here's the mask hud it's pretty i like how it's all floral uh let's see on the hud here we've got two floral print and then six planes ranging through it from a yellow through to a black which is fun oh the black's pretty and then we've got the decora i like style of these masks. I always want to like get some when it's flu season because I get really sick and then I can pretend that I'm you know also trying to look really cool and stuff but I don't think I'd fool anyone. I think in England I'd just look like a weirdo. 
<sighs> now let's take a look at the skirt and the hood for the skirt. By the way, there is a note card here which explains that the shirt that matches this is available for free as a group gift for the Caboodle group. So that's cool, that's good to know. Now the skirt, which I really like, has the same color options as the mask, but you can also change the top skirt and the bottom skirt here. So you can contrast. And just look at this cute little decor here. It says kawaii on it and it's got a bunny and ice cream. Yum! I love ice cream. You know, if you were like bubble goth, you could, you could change this whole thing to fit that theme very nicely too. So that's cool. I am especially into the shape of this skirt. It is very pretty. That is the Boodle Kyoka decor skirt and mask and stuff set. And again, you can pick up a matching shirt for it as a Caboodle group gift. Next we have a hair by Doe. I love Doe. Okay, so we have to take off this hair, which is by Olive. It is a gacha at N21 and it is called Hearts and Moons. This is the rare. I am fancy. Uh, so now we will put on the Doe hair, which is called Olivia. The Olivia hair is a fat pack and oh my goodness. I am actually gonna wear this on like all my avatars. Like, you know, from, from grown up me all the way down to toddly do me. This is so cute! It's an unrigged style, it's picky buns, it's messy picky buns with adorable bangs. I love it! Okay, I'm wearing the two-tone version. I'm gonna put on the colors HUD, which is my usual HUD when I wear doe hair. The colors HUD allows me to wear this dark red, but it also gives me the option of side two, which I can turn to something a little more adorable. I really like this overlap right here. This there, it's not just that the hair has been bisected. It's not just like, okay, this side's one color and this side's the other. Or I like that this interacts with itself just there. That is so cute. It's an incredibly cute style. Now, of course, you get the fat pack of this hair. And so you get lots and lots of colors. And it's unrigged, it's resizable, and it is absolutely perfect. I love this hair. The Doe Olivia. The next item in the May 2017 cutie look is the Fawny Cute Baby. Now, I have some a certain amount of trepidation just in case this is an actual baby. I don't want an actual baby. Um, like those, is it Black Bantam ones? I, I don't like those. I, I don't want that. But we will see what we get here. With the Fawny Cute Baby, wear me and good to recolor. It's not a baby, it's a unicorn baby! Any old timers like me remember Central Stoneworks where you could go and do something that got you a unicorn baby? Just saying. It was a fun activity. Everyone did it. It's fine. Anyway, this, this, this does not require that activity. And it also has a really pretty horn. Look at this. It's all color changing. It's got this this whole like jewels and chains and stuff going on. Oh, how pretty. Okay, what happens if we click it to color change? Oh, it just goes right ahead and changes that color. So it cycles through various cute colors. Looking all majestic and ice creamy. I don't know. This just looks like ice cream to me. It's don't eat a unicorn. But yes, it is a cute baby, and I am highly relieved that it is not actually a baby. The bonny cute baby. We've got shoes by Fedora. Next, we've got the Emily heels. The Emily heels come in sizes for Belitza, Matreya, and Sling. On with the Matreya. Oh, they're pretty. I like this ribbon here at the back. I really like this ribbon here at the back. And it's sort of pinned rather than being a full bow which is fun. I like the form of that. See, it has a stiletto heel and a pointy toe and a HUD with 28 colors. If you know me, you'll know that I appreciate the fact that they told me it was 28 colors instead of making me do the math. So I'm gonna try out mm, this this one, this teal. This HUD allows you to change the color of the backs, these bows right here, these straps, the sole of the shoe and the bait. Sorry, my hair stuff went a little uncooperative there when it came to loading textures. 
Hey, and you can also use this hat to change the metallics, like this fedora logo here. These shoes have yummy textures, and uh, like I said, I really like the flow of this ribbon here. They are very pretty and very, very, very customizable with this hat, and they are lovely. They are the Fedora Emily Heels. We have another hair to try out now. It's by Pretty. It's called Letty. It comes in fitted and unrigged versions, which is always convenient when you have smaller avatars. And here is the fitted version. Letty is a long wavy style with odd that goes to the side. It's got a side parting and then a long part here at the side. It's over the shoulder like that. You get a blonde hat, a brown hat, a grayscale hat, a pastel hat, and a red hat. Oh how cute this hat is! Look it's got sparkle clouds! And Pretty has added a lot more colors since I last bought hair from them actually. It's been a little while. Uh, Pretty Textures always have had a very strongly rooted version, a medium roots version, and a roots version. I really like their roots actually, so I'm going to try the heavy roots. Yes, I like that a lot. I really like the contrast that they have in their rooted versions, and I like these textures. It's really been a while since I have looked at Pretty. I love it. The Letty hair by Pretty. Let's try the rootless version. And I believe these, you know, see how these are each in a pair? I believe they're to do with the contrast of the highlights and lowlights of the hair, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this seems to have less strong shine on it, this, this one here. Well, that is really nice. That is the Letty Hair by Pretty. We have an item of decor next from Unkindness. We have the Kawaii Curtain. The Kawaii Curtain set come in a bunch of colors. We've got blue with green, blue with pink, pink with green, yellow with blue, yellow with green, yellow with pink, and so on down the line. We have, I think, 16? I may have miscounted. Maybe 16 colors. I'm gonna look at the... Let's not do yellow. I always do yellow. I'm gonna do the pink and blue. The white and blue, even. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to change my wind light setting because these are just like a glow overload. A glow overload, if you will. Okay, with a less mystical bright glow now. Ooh, I love them though. These are really useful. These are really versatile, especially since they are one object and so they can be stretched along any axis. So you could make this really wide or really short. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. It seems like it seems like the colors. It's the curtains are white, and the with blue refers to the curtain pole. So that is useful to know. But these lights that are in them are so bright. These would be brilliant for like photo shoots, all kinds of things. Absolutely lovely. I like them a lot. Let's try. Mm, let's try one of the blue ones. Blue with gold. Oh, I love this blue. Blue is very nice. Look how glam I love. You can also select face, you know, edit texture and select face on these and tone down the glow if you want a slightly more subtle or more layerable effect, which I think is cool. And I really, really dig these. These are the Unkindness Kawaii Curtains. The second to last item in our awesome cutie loot box is by the Field Cast and is the mini skirt. Mini as a mouse rather than mini as in miniature. So the mini skirt comes in sizes for Beleza, Freya and Isis, Slink, Hourglass and Matreya Lara. So cute! Got polka dots. Got a very 80s feel to it in a good way. Yes, it has quite an 80s feel to it somehow. I think with the panel here and the frill, I, I like the wrinkles going on here. I think it is very, very sweet little skirt. Let's take a look at the HUD. My goodness, it has a lot of color options and no label as to what's what. So I'm just going to start clicking buttons at random. Now, because it is called Mini, I am going to make it red. Ooh, that's a nice red, a nice cranberry color. I have made the frill down here black. And then these ones, they are for the center panel. And the ones over here are for the plain version. And on this side is the polka dots version. 
We'll stick to the polka dots right now. Thank you. So that is the mini scud by La Field Cast. So this is the mini scud by La Field Cast. It is short and flirty and cute and it has so many mix and match options. So you could have a different skirt every day basically. Look at the texture on it too. It's even got all this detail with the stitching here and the fabric texture. It's a beautifully made skirt. It's very thoughtfully made with these wrinkles and all. I love it. It's the Fiercast Mini Skirt. Finally, in our cutie loot, we have a vanity table and seat from Moss and Mink. Now, Moss and Mink is not a brand I know a lot about, but I'm seeing them in every event just right now. So keep an eye on them, I guess. Now switching back to a, again to a less glowingly pink wind light setting. We have the Moss and Mink Vanity Table, which is just like an adorable princess thing. So sweet. It's got these lights hanging off it, and these little gems on the mirror, mirror frames. So cute. And it has a matching really sweet. Wow. Hot shade. Let's sit on it. Ooh. I like this pose. It feels just, I don't know, my butt feels warm just sitting on this. Just looking at it, I, I can feel the comfy, cozy snuggliness of this, of this seat. It's got seven poses and they are all cute and nice. Yep, I like them. Now this HUD that comes with allows us to change the drawers of the dresser to one of five colors and the pattern of the frill of the seat to one of five patterns. So you can be super princessy, but you do not have to be super pink about it, which is always a bonus for me, you know? So that is a really, really adorable set. I've just changed my dresser in, in my bedroom to one that I really love, so unfortunately this is not my new dresser, but it is so cute. If I was a little more of a princess, this would be my love. So this has been Cutie Loot for the month of May. My outfit credits are as follows. My makeup, Beachy's Serenity Shadow on the eyes. And on my lips is the YSYS Powder Lips from the May Lilith Tradition of Powder Pack. The lingerie I have been wearing is a Omega Applier from Snatch. That is the candy lingerie and my nails which you can see right here are by Alaska Metropolitan and they are the kimono nails. So I have been throughout this video Nevaya Barbosa. This has been Cutie Loot. If you can stand me then like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!